Oh friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel, Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanind and in this video of Power BI Tips and Tricks, we are going to talk about how to create an animated chart. Now, I have already got a data set uh, of COVID-19 spread throughout the year. So how it started from 2020 from China and then it started, you know, spread over the years within uh, you know in multiple countries so i'm using that data set so that we can show our demo of animated chart in this dashboard that you can see right now so let's get started All right, so let's uh, jump on another page in the same report that I have actually copied uh, just to save some time. Now, these kind of charts and uh, cards and titles, obviously it's kind of easy to prepare. If we have data, then we can go ahead and you know, put together these kind of charts. Now for the background, I have actually uploaded an image. Uh, let me take you to the canvas background. So I have uploaded an image and put it on the transparency as 87%. And that's how you are able to see this particular, you know, COVID uh, kind of, you know, image in the background. Now, when it comes to actually filtering the data, so as of now, only filtration that is uh, working is based on the data that I have. Now, if I go ahead and add the actually animation visual that we need in order to make it as animated, uh, we would need uh, this play axis, you know, uh, visual. Now, if you don't have by default in your Power BI report, uh, in your Power BI desktop application, then you can go ahead and click on get more visuals. Now over here, once it will open a new window, go ahead and uh, type play axis. Now it will open up this particular visual that you can go ahead and import like add and it will be added over here. First, it will be added in the bottom. Now, if you would like to continue with this play access, then definitely you can click on pin and it will be added in your default visuals, right? So now let's go ahead and click on this play axis and oops, I clicked on the wrong one. Uh, I'll go ahead and click on this play and add it over here. Let me uh, reshape it accordingly. Now, now because we want this animation to work on based on date, right? We want to show how, you know, cases spread over the date throughout these years. So I'll go ahead and select the date. Now, by default, actually, it will select the date in kind of an hierarchical mode and by default, it will show it in years. So I don't want to, you know, show it by year. So instead, I'll go ahead and select this date and that will make it on the date level. I'll go ahead and rename this so that I can have a capital D, D-A-T, all right. Now, okay, let me go ahead and update the title as well. And I'll make it text as white and put the background as black so that it can match the theme. Let me reduce the size. All right, fair enough. Now, if I, at this point of time, uh, if I go ahead and click on play. So now you can see here, actually it is doing something, right? Because a couple of charts are getting grayed out, but it is not looking what you're expecting. So why it is happening is because the default interaction of this particular play axis with other charts is highlight. So values are actually highlighting based on whatever date has been provided by this visual by this filter and it is not kind of visible to us so to fix this uh, fix that let's click on this particular visual go to the format and click on edit interaction now in order to have this particular chart filtered based on this so while you have this selected uh, you will get three options over here. So by default highlighted, it's selected, but we want it to be filtered. All right, so we have selected the filtered and now I'll drag it in the right place again. And let me reshape it and drag it. All right, now, as we discussed in the first chart, I don't want the bottom chart to be filtered. I am showing it as an static value. So uh, for this, again, having this selected, I'll go ahead and click on 
none so that there would be no effect of filtering on this particular chart now a rest of the visuals i want them to be filtered as per the date you know selected in this particular visual so now i'll go ahead and click on format and disable this edit interaction and at this point of time if i go ahead and click on this visual it should actually start showing us values oops i clicked it again so if i go ahead and stop and play again and let's see uh, so as of now i haven't formatted this caption value so for that i can go into uh, format your visual and under the caption i can change these values right so maybe let's key let's stay with black and reduce the size a bit now let's go ahead and click on play so in the beginning actually sometimes it take uh, some time uh, i'm wondering maybe it is because of the data source or maybe this is how the data is modeled in the background because the file that i'm using in csv file and there are a couple of missing data and i haven't done that much error handling as of now so right now you can see here it has started and first of all as we know the cases were reported in china and it has started showing values in china and gradually it will start showing in a rest of the world so uh, let's take a look how actually it is working now by default uh, you know it, it is kind of a bit slow so if you want to control its speed you can go under the animation setting so while having this selected go into the format your visuals and under visuals and animation settings by default it is set up for 1000 milliseconds so i would prefer having it as 3000 like 300 milliseconds that will make it a bit faster so let's see that now right so you can see that actually it is updating a bit faster so depending upon which value you have and how many values you have or kind of for how long or for which time period you have so that you can actually cover it within a 30 seconds or maybe you want to drag it for 1 minute so accordingly you can set up the time so that this animation will look like it is doing something and values would be updating all right guys so i hope uh, you have got pretty good understanding how can you go ahead and create this kind of animation chart in your power bi report using uh, this play access visual and you have got an idea how can you get go ahead and import any third party visual from you know from maybe marketplace and uh, if you have any question at this point of time please uh, do let me know in the comments i would love to answer that and if you like the content please don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on any latest videos that i upload so thank you for watching keep learning have a great day